35k HELOC, 14.5k loan, 5.25%. Did he display the payment? Oh, load is loan. <laughs> Put that together. So 387, gotcha. 7,500 on each car note. One is at zero. 1%. I'm assuming both of them are financed vehicles. One car note is 315 and the other is 255. I'm assuming that the 0% one is 255 and the 1% one is 315. So, and then he said cash flow. 1300 1500 so when we let's see when we do 35k times 66% 23100 I'll use his lower cash flow number, 1,300 times 12. It's 15,600. So anywhere between 15,6 and 23,1 is my chunk. I would get rid of that. And then he said he's got two credit cards, 20K limit, he owes 4K on the credit card, and the other one has 5K limit with 0%. So I guess the, the one that's with 5K, so the 5K credit card has 0%. I'm going to leave that alone. The one that's 4K owed on a credit card. Let's see. I don't know what the payment is, but I'm assuming credit cards typically have high interest rates. So I might get rid of that credit card. All right, so I might get rid of the credit card and the 14.5K, 387 plus whatever I gain from the uh, credit card. and. On the low end, 1300 plus 387. So 1300 plus 387. New cash flow on the low end, 1687 times 12 is $20,244. So the HELOC is at a what rate? At the HELOC. Whatever the interest rate is on that would get offset by that 5.25 right there and the cash flow gain right here. And then whatever I'm earning, saving over here. It's got this 5K at 0%. Depending on when this expires, I'm going to pay attention to that. But my first chunk to get things going if I'm a newbie in this particular situation, I think I might go ahead and just knock out that loan along with that credit card for 4K. Do velocity banking. If this expires anytime soon, we'll get rid of that. This would be typically last because it's 0%. My next debt that I'll tackle is most likely this, as long as he's not withholding any other information. Uh, that would make sense to tackle next. And then I would end things off right here. Soon as my HELOC hits zero after knocking out all those things, um, I'm assuming the mortgage would be left if he has a mortgage on his property that he owes. He can go and start chunking on the mortgage, option one, 10x option two 
or you could go and skip the mortgage real quick temporarily to start IBC, then come back to the mortgage, then 10X, or IBC to 10X. And do everything that I said earlier on this, on the, the main class that I was talking about. And he wrote 5.25% which is interesting because who pays more interest? 5.25 simple or 5.25 amortized? 5.25 amortized will pay more interest than 5.25 simple interest because whatever I borrow will get immediately uh, subtracted by the new cash flow gain and the existing cash flow plus all of his income. Therefore, doing velocity banking in about a six to nine month window to bring that to zero to then just chunk again. And we're just going really, really fast at that point. Mm -hmm.